Alrighty, claim one mule deer. You're going to have to be careful in this area. There's quite some verticality, meaning that mule deer can be hidden by rocks and ridges. You can stick with the normal flat paths or you can try the more off-road paths. You'll need to use whatever cover you can find. Cover in this region is sparse. It's you and the open desert from here on out. No thick foliage to cover you. Try getting to higher ground. At least it'll make the mule deer harder to see you. It'll make the mule deer harder to see you. At least it'll make the mule deer harder to see you. That doesn't sound right. I don't know. At least it'll make it harder for the mule deer to see you. That seems, that sounds better. We'll go with that one. Uh, it, it's also dark. So here we go, night vision. Holy crap, my DPI was up. Okay, so stubborn as a mule nighttime hunt. And, oh right, I gotta remember the controls because this is not uh, anything else. I haven't the foggiest idea. Oh, but the map doesn't have like a dark mood. Um, and what's amazing is I've been finding, is that north? I've been finding mule deer like left, right, and center. I'm hoping this comes through okay. I'm actually waiting on some responses from the Reddit community as well as Elgato uh, support because my card is having issues detecting full range color right now, so I actually have everything cranked down to limited range color. Otherwise, most of this you wouldn't be able to see. And you may not be able to see it anyways. So, let's go find us a mule deer. Hey, turkey. I heard turkey. I think I have the weapon for turkey. Yes, I do. So, I know I've made comments in the past about how I don't like how high he holds the rifle. And here's another problem. They have some kind of filter that takes, like, the image out of focus as you move away from the center point. So if I want to see, like, here, that puts, say, the cactus right here. That right there puts a cactus in a pretty good center of my line of view. Except because I'm so far from my crosshair, it's already going out of focus. But if I bring it back to where it's in focus, the freaking scope is in the way. There's turkey around here somewhere. I hear it gobbling. The howling has also got me curious. I don't know what's in the area for that can howl. Most of the animals are fleeing the area. What? A oh, hey, look. Look at that. That's a 12 pound turkey right there. Are you serious? that bugger most of the animals are fleeing the area it's probably like a bunch of rabbits isn't it still nighttime nab that turkey out of the air didn't see any mule deer there's a stand that way is this the way I wanted to head anyways yeah objectives claim a turkey okay Whoa. Boom, flash mission, claim a turkey, done. All right, we're gonna go to there, switch back to our main rifle here, and keep our eyes peeled. I'm very glad I waited to do this mission until I got the night vision, because even doing this by flashlight, I don't know, I guess doing it by flashlight probably wouldn't be bad, because if it works anything like this night vision, you could probably shine a flashlight into the you know, up there and blind the International Space Station. I mean, look at that. I can see that bird. I I've never seen night vision work this well. Like, for a headset. Alright. Oh, jeez. There's another turkey behind me. Mule deer. Northwest. Alright, I will... Look at that. Headed the right direction. If ever you're lost trying to find an animal, start by looking for where their the stand is. 
two hours northwest. Oh, hey. All right, we got a doe. Mm. Nope, I don't want a doe. Bird. Bush. All right, we got bird, bush, now I want a buck. Oh, is that that same? That's a doe. Wait, I saw something else right there. Doe. 216 pound buck, there you are. Is that it? That's what I got to work with? All right. But even the oh my oh oh the filter stopped working so that's weird they put a filter over to give it the, the night vision that kind of uh what would you call it signal noise i guess and in bullet time the filter stopped moving so you could just see the the points i don't know how well that'll show after compression but that uh ooh. Ooh, that needed there. There's a lot of little things I'm really hoping they improve on for their their sequel because there's a lot of uh, little fine tuning things where it's like, yeah, that looks good. Throw it out there, and I'm not a hundred percent that they did like quality checks. Am I going the right way? Because I mean, it looks cool, but most of the animals are fleeing the area. You're slow to the game there, bud. Oh, man, this is the hardest part. Where the hell did the deer go? It's right here in front of me? No. Right here. Right here in front of me. Right. Like, here. Okay. Um, what? No. Here. No. Here. Like... And I can't see it down the dang rifle. <laughs> it's it's like trying to walk while carrying a large set of boxes up to a third floor apartment. You know, you can kind of... That's a track. There we go. Now I can see for a second. Nope. Now I can't... Oh, it's right here. Okay. I have to do that just to try and get use of some of my screen. Okay, here we go. Heart, stomach, lung shot. I don't know how, but okay. How? How do you go broadside and get heart, stomach, lung? I could get the heart and the lung. I could get the lung and the stomach. I cannot, from that angle, I cannot imagine there's a way to actually get heart, stomach, lung. But there you go. Full freaking points. Oh lord, that was a frustrating one. Gray wolves have never been an easy animal to hunt. They roam between dense forests and open areas. They are hard to track and even harder to spot. They like to move around, so pinning them down will prove very difficult. Use what cover you can find and make sure to scout out the area. A wolf may appear from the bushes at any moment, so make sure you're ready to take a shot. You won't get many chances. I love it when they give these stories that make it seem like this animal is going to just be the absolute most difficult thing ever. And then so far that hasn't really been the case. Like most of the animals are it's like, oh, this will be a great pain in your butt. It, these missions haven't taken me more than, with the exception of the one where I turned the wrong way trying to find a uh, pheasant. These missions haven't taken but usually about 15 minutes to complete. They're not really giving me a whole lot on the way. I would imagine this way. I have all day. This is an all day hunt. This is one of the longer hunts they've given. Oh, look at that, a track. Uh, that was literally a minute and 58 seconds in. That might be a lie. I think I was talking longer than that. What on God's green earth is, is that? That's a big freaking wolf then. South. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. That way. Yep. 
Okay. Now, like Call of the Wild, I actually don't really like hunting the wolves. I try to avoid them. They're, they get aggressive easily. You're, you're pretty much a one and done on those. Sometimes if you time everything right, you work your health packs, you move around, you, you just, to me, to get out of a close range encounter with those guys, you're having to do a little too much Call of Duty work. And uh, I personally don't enjoy that too much, but then, you know, it can be fun. But especially nighttime, it gives me the heebie-jeebies, because those models, they did a great job with those models. And the sound effects. Oh my lord, because you don't hear the footsteps, you just suddenly hear growling three inches from your crack, and you know it's about to get bit. Five hours south. What the? They didn't give this man knees. Oh, there we go. Three hours south. In the matter of three minutes, we have supposedly cut down... Oh my lord, look at that. Wait, oh, that's a blacktail? That's a monster blacktail right there. But we're here for Grey Wolves unless a flash mission pops up. Nope, no flash mission. Okay, so we just spooked those birds there. Here's the next track. It, is that guy literally just walking around right there? Three hours south. Yep, we're falling behind here. Yeah, the, uh... The AI leaves something to be desired. Two hours south. Alright, we're catching up. So two hours south means we should be able to see the thing. Here comes the paranoia. They're howling right over there. Okay, now they've turned southwest. I'm just going to keep following the valley. I'll move off a little bit southwest. This southwest? That's, that's straight south. I mean, I can hear it howling. I, I hear where it is. Oh my lord, it's right there. What, seriously? No, that's a coyote. Not a bad looking coyote. You can't tell me most of the animals are fleeing the area. That coyote is staying put. So there's one left, and there's one over this ridge line. I want to get up to, like, this tree here where I can hopefully see... Wait. No, well, that... Wait. Uh-oh. Is that a warning? You hear the bark? Get to this tree right here. I think this might be a good spot. Sounds like it's coming back around. They're aggressive, right? I mean... There's a whole... There's more than one that way now. Okay, I'm guessing the barking I'm hearing is a warning call. Yeah, right there. Where? So do I push that one or do I backtrack to try and see the other two that are down in the valley? Ooh. Come on. Go aggressive. I can sprint like a madman. Ooh, butterfly. No. Ferocious wolves. We're dealing with wolves. Never mind the butterflies. Okay, that one has gotten closer. Yeah, those ones are definitely like roaming by.
<laughs> I really hope you can hear that. I really hope I get the sound right on this one because that you know what it reminds me of is the uh, the werewolf from classic. That was the werewolf howl. Like, is that why I... I cannot see these things. Oh my lord, there it is. That is a gray old wolf, 58 pound male. All right. Down. All right, let's get up. I just saw another one over there. Something was over there. For the love of God, quit running into every living thing. Uh, wait. Oh. Hmm. It's, uh... It's a wolf, I guess. All right. That was a lung shot. 96 yards, 57, so a 366. Again, they, they, there's an I, a good, Shh, maybe. I could now use the duck collar. Oh, you don't need the duck collar in this game. You just wait. They just fly around in circles. We, we covered that in the first video. All right. There's a wolf. Didn't get a bigger mule deer. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the wolf we just nabbed. See, so look at like the lighting back here and the like this. Look at this back here. This engine looks fantastic. The model, the model needs help. Like the model itself, like I don't think it's the meshes are bad, but the fur and something about like the vertice, uh, what do you call it? The vertice density? Something along those lines. Basically, you can see a lot of polygons, but all in all, still some fun. All right, let's go find out what we're hunting next. Ooh, ooh, grizzly bear. <laughs> 